Okay. So, welcome to the class as usual. We uh, let me ask you something. Uh, what do you remember about the previous class? So, can you tell me about that? What did you learn? What is your uh, what are your ideas, your thoughts? Yeah, I know. I, in the last class, I, I've learned about the iPhone and okay. I know more about the colorblind disease. And, and the most important thing is that I learned about active prefixes, prefixes. Okay, prefixes. So we talk about that in the grammar and in, in the grammar session. And we said, all right, that there are some prefixes that the intention of those prefixes is to indicate the opposite, opposite meaning of those prefixes, right? Which means that you are trying to say something that is the synonym, all right? Synonym of this. For example, if you say that something is credible, if something is credible and you want to specify the, the opposite of this, if I said credible and I use a self and you know the surface of this, what is it going to be? Uh, it's uh, incredible. Incredible, that's right. Something else I would like to ask you, uh, what is the importance of the eyeboard? Uh, the importance of eyeboard is that it helps people to identify the color through sound. Okay, that is correct. The importance of this is to identify the color to sounds like the, per, the people that have this condition, all right, which is this type of, let's say, um, micro, well, I forgot the name, but it's the, the thing is that the people that have that condition, that they are not able to distinguish the colors, all right, only the ones like, you know, the monochromatic colors, like black, gray, white. So that is very important because they may have the possibility to listen to the sounds. And once they listen to the sounds, well, they can at least say, okay, this is the color I think, this is the color that stands for this sound. In other words, so, uh, I also saw you send me the homework, all right, in regards to Andrea Vocelli. So, will, I be, will this be okay if you tell me about your analysis real quick? Uh, about uh, like Andrew. the yeah. and, and, Andrea Bocelli. Bocelli. I, Bocelli, yeah. Uh, he's, a blind, yeah he's a very famous blind uh, singer. <laughs> a song composer, I think, and the record producer. That it's is correct. Eight. Yeah. And uh, do you know his nationality? Uh, he say he's from Italy. He's from Italy. He's an Italian, a musician, singer. And like I said before, since we, since we cover the last class, right? I don't know yeah. if you remember that, the condition of a guy. Um, he was suffering from a disease, all right, that it was very, very complex. Actually, his condition, all right, <clears throat> sorry, I think I'm a little bit aphonic. His condition limited him, all right, to be like other people. He was suffering from a, a disease that was, I'm sorry, <clears throat> a disease that was well known as, <clears throat> sorry, uh, a disease, all right, that was well known as glaucoma. What is glaucoma? Which means that, per, that these people, they cannot see anything. They are just blind, but there is something that he developed, all right? He developed the skills to play musical instruments as he was not able to use his eyes as any normal person. He was able to use um, the instruments to play the instrument and develop pretty much an... Uh, Let's say, for example, um, uh, an amazing skills. That's going to be the proper terminology. So he used, all right, he developed on the skills to play the piano and some instruments. So actually, in fact, if I tell you that um, uh, Andrea Bocelli, all right, Andrea Bocelli, was well known all around the world. He has been 
collaborating with many artists and musicians all around the world. I can tell, I don't know if you, maybe, do you know Ed Sheeran? We? Maybe no, because I don't listen to music. Ah, okay, too. you are not given to listen to, to music, but I can tell you uh, at least uh, in every continent or in the majority of country, continents, all right? He has been collaborating with artists from all over the world. Well, from all over the continents. I'm not gonna say all over the world because you know there are many countries in the world. But what I can tell you is that he has been collaborating with many um, artists from different continents. And because of this, he became you know a well-reputated artist pretty much in all continents or in in every continent, there are people who knows Andrea Vachelli. And it is something very, here there is something very important. And what is that so important? That we can see that we are all human beings, all right? We are all human beings. And as human beings, in many occasions, the first thing we do is to, to have a justification, all right? A justification, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. But we see how people with a physical condition, a physical limit, limitation, they can do things that maybe we, do, we are not, we, we do not do. And what I can tell you from this, this story of Andrea Bocelli teaches us, all right, and we can learn from that, that in life, everything is possible. In life, everything is possible, no matter the conditions you have, no matter the limitations you have, so everything is possible in life. What do you think about that? I think it's right. It's just about uh, our will to uh, like to try. It's, out, it's, a, it's all about us. It's, uh, you think that uh, life is all about that, right? Yeah. Like uh, if, if we want to make a thing, we, we, we have to try our best to do that. That is correct. Um, and let me ask you something. What is your opinion in regards? I, I'm just trying to make the class a little bit more conversational, you know? Um, let, yeah, me, know. let me ask you something. What is your opinion in regards to the people who do not try their best uh, right, to see their dreams come true? What do you think about that? Uh, I think like they, they are like uh, lazy or something else, but but they, they are not uh, they will not successful in the future. That's right. That they they might not be su sure. su yeah. successful in the future. And do you think? Um, let me see something. Let me ask you something. Uh, do you because the, this question has to do with this? Do you think people may be lucky or? They or they can be prepared to face any type of challenge, like to get jobs and things like that. Do you think that this is a matter of preparation or being lucky, or the success of many people? Do you think that people are becoming people become successful because they are lucky, lucky, or because they prepare? What do you think? Or, or maybe it might be a combination of both. What do you think? Yeah, I think that is a mixture, mixture of uh, lucky and our uh, like our preparation, because uh, but, but uh, us uh, mostly it's about our preparation. We just create our own luck. <laughs> That's right. That's right. In, meaning that the opportunities, the opportunities always are going to be there. All right. Always the opportunities yeah. are going to be there. But the thing is that um, we need to get ready for the opportunities. We cannot expect that uh, the opportunities are going to knock the, the doors and they're going to be like, we, I am the opportunity. All right, please go ahead and take me. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. It's not going to be like, we have, uh, in life, nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. We have to... We have sometimes, sometimes, I'm not going to say always, but sometimes we have to struggle. Sometimes that is fine if, if somebody doesn't, does not struggle, but sometimes we have to struggle to see our dreams come true. Nothing is easy. 
Uh, it's not like yeah. in a maybe like in a movie that um, you see things. Uh, you see things like, oh wow, it was like a magic trick. So in the previous lesson, in the previous lesson we 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 cover, what was the biggest struggle of the guy? Uh, the biggest struggle of the white guy is that he cannot uh, like see any any more color except from uh, blue, uh, no, gray, black, and white. That is correct. And let me ask you something. And what was this greatest skill that uh, actually was very uh, that was outstanding? Mm. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I don't understand uh, the okay. question. The out. Uh, do you uh do you under, do you understand the word and I was understanding? I'm sorry. Let me write it for you. Yeah, I know the understanding. Okay, the question I was standing. I'm sorry. So, what was this I was standing skill that he displayed? Uh, even he was limited with his condition. Do you remember? I think. It Ah, he, he, his painting skills. His painting skills, well done. His painting skills. And then uh, what happens with him, with this, with his painting skills? Yeah, he, uh, like he, he has a talent on painting, but uh, he cannot identify the color. So when he met a professor, I don't know his name, but, uh, the, but, the, but that professor created, create a new device called the iPod and that can help him. And that could help him, that is right. So then we, that's pretty much uh, what we covered in the previous yeah. class. And I'm so happy that you have learned this, that you have made this research about Andrea Bocelli. And I'm so happy that you may know at least a bit of his history. And this kind of people and this kind of situation gives us like, a certain type of motivation. Sometimes as human being, we feel like we always put ahead an excuse, all right? We always have an excuse. We always are coming with like ideas that we cannot do things and things like that, but everything is possible. Now we cover this part. Let's go ahead with the lesson. Let me share my screen to you. Okay. Wait, do you know what are what paparaxis are? Uh, sorry, what what is that? Do you know what is a paparaxi? Mm, no. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Especially paparaxi, it's a um, it's a it's a sort of photo reporter, photo reporter. Um, have you ever? I know you are too young. Have you ever heard about the princess? Uh, princess uh, Diana, she was the princess of she was the princess of the United States. I mean, of the UK. I'm sorry, she was a princess from the UK. She passed away, and actually, she was trying to live a normal, a normal life. Let me let me show you. I'm gonna show you a picture here, so you can yeah, understand. I know her face. Oh, okay. So she was actually a princess from the UK. I think she passed away in the 90s. In the 90s, she passed away. And there was a situation with her. Maybe you were a baby. Maybe you were not born by that by those time. But what's happened is that all the time when she wanted to have a private life, she never had, she never had it. And I think it, and you know, famous people, they may have a limitation when it comes to have privacy. So today in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about um, photo description. You know, this lesson today is based on speaking. I would like today us to speak as much as we can. I would like you to use as, as many words as you can, vocabulary. If there is something you don't know, I can help you with this. Okay. Let me just show you something. This class is intended to increase the fluency, the speaking fluency. Okay, look at this photo, and then I want you to identify the people and things below. So I'm gonna share to you my the control the the control of the computer. 
so so that you can circle the word I'm the word I'm gonna give you. Look at there. You can see now you have access to my computer or to the screen. So you can circle the word I'm gonna I'm gonna mention. I, or okay, a camera flash. <laughs> Let me see if you can do it. <laughs> well, can't, I can't use the tool. <laughs> okay, no, no worries. So just tell me, no worries. Okay. Okay, let me, let me just go back again. I think it's giving you some issues to, to do it. Let me see here. Okay, so look at the photo. Okay, look at the photo and identify the people and things. So a camera flash. Okay, I cannot uh, use the tool, so I will tell. Uh, but the camera flash is the yeah the light come from the cameras to like to make the photo. Which flash. means this this one, right? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. A celebrity. Who is the celebrity? The blonde girl, the guy that is laughing, the one, the blonde girl, the blonde girl behind. I think the girl, the girl in blonde in blonde hair is the celebrity. Okay, you mean like the girl, like the girl with the blonde hair? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So the notebook. <laughs> that oh, that is obvious, all right? That's very yeah. simple. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Uh, a reporter, who's the reporter? Well, I think the people who is, uh, yeah, who is, uh, give, give, give the, self, give, give the girl the, the notebook. Who okay. Is the yeah. Okay, yeah, but in this picture, uh, who is who is, do you think is the reporter in this picture? Uh, a reporter? Uh, I think it's the man who stands next to her. Okay, the man, all right, that is correct. And who is, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. What about the photographers? Uh, the photographer is, uh, is everyone, is all the people who is holding the cameras. The cameras, that's right. And what is the paparazzi? Or who, or who is the paparazzi in the picture? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, some, someone who stand behind, uh, yeah, behind the girl. Okay, the one is behind the girl. Like, do you think this one is a paparazzi? Yeah. That is correct. So, you know, something that I like to let you know there is something, you know, the paparazzi usually they are like these people who take picture, these people who record videos. And um, what's happened with them is that they, they usually have a characteristic, right? Yeah. Give me a minute. They usually have a characteristic. And what is that characteristic they have? Well, you know, usually they try to uh, take pictures from people with no permission. So like uh, trying to intrude. So I'm obviously that should not be the ethical job of a paparazzi, but they just trying to make picture. And then uh, suddenly celebrity, suddenly many celebrities uh, become victims of paparazzi because their life is very exposed and you know, anything may happen. Yeah. So let's continue. Okay. okay. So now look at this. So we are going to listen to study talk, the, stu the student talking about the photo. And then I would like uh, you to tell me which of the following, right? Does he include in, in his description? Listen well the, the information, the audio, and then okay. you're gonna tell me your opinion. Which of these options, all right, are included in the description? Okay. Lesson 1F, okay. exercises 2 and 5. Describe the picture. The photo shows a street at night. There's a sign in the background. 
It looks like it says theater. There are a number of people in the street. The woman in the sunglasses looks like a pop singer or film star. The man in the grey suit next to the woman is a TV reporter, I think. Okay. He's holding a microphone and interviewing her. He looks very excited. They are walking away from the theatre. Perhaps she is the star of a show, but I'm not sure. The people to the right of the man are photographers. They look like paparazzi and they're taking photos of the woman. In the top right hand corner of the photo, I can see a TV camera too. On the left, we can see just the hands of some people. One of them is holding a notebook, and the woman with long blonde hair is writing something in the notebook with a blue pen. It looks as though she's signing an autograph. So I guess the people on the left are fans of the woman. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So now the question is for you one more time. So the question is, watch, okay, which, uh, which of the following does he include in the description? I think Actions, the answer experiences, is C. People. Okay. C, I think it's C, people. Okay, people. And do you think there might be more options or yeah, just I, the C? I think there are also the location and some action of them. Okay, so let's check. Okay, that includes A, actions. <laughs> it includes location and people. Well done. Yes. Great job. So let me just tell you, all right? So all right. look at this. We are having this exercise, obviously, with some prepositions. And then we are going to use them in order for us to complete the exercise. So we have the preposition in, we have on, we have to. We have with, all right? Very simple. I think that's something I had to start from the scratch. <laughs> so let me see. Number one, all right, assigned blank, the background. What do you think it may be? I think it's in the background. In the background. Let's see here. That's right. The man, the gray The man suit. in the gray suit. All right. So the people on the right of the man. All right, something I want to just clarify. Uh, sometimes in English, you sometimes can use like to the right. So the people that are to the right side, for example, this way you can use two. And so it's more common as well as you just said, all right? For example, the people on the right of the man. So both are valid, all right? All right. So just keep that in mind. But if you ask me, Tisha Alexis, which one is more is more common? Obviously, on. Yeah, I always do on. Okay, but sometimes referring like to be more specific, uh, you want to specify more specifically given to the directions. You know, like the people to, uh, the people going to, the people going to the street or going to, you know, it's like more related to directions. And on also is for direction, but you know it's like more, more it's more general. Two okay. is more specific. Understand okay. that? Okay, I understand. Perfect. Sounds very good. Number four. Blank the top right, the top right hand corner of the photo. Mm. I think it's uh, in. Okay, in the top right hand corner of the photo. Number yeah. five, the woman. Number five, the woman with long blonde hair. Okay, the woman with long blonde hair. That's right. Number six, the people. On the left. All right, the people on the left. So now um, we're going to listen again and check the answers to the exercise number three and four. Just listen to the conversation. And this way you will just confirm that. Well, actually, we, we already did, but it's just so... Lesson 1 exercises your, 2 and 5. Refresh your listening. Describe the picture. The photo shows a street at night. Give me a second, we. 
Okay. Okay. Lesson 1F. Let me tell you again, I'm sorry. Actually, the intention of this uh, exercise is just to refresh your, your listening. So you yeah, can see okay. how the way how we exercises it. two and five. Describe the picture. The photo shows a street at night. There's a sign in the background. It looks like it says theater. There are a number of people in the street. The woman in the sunglasses looks like a pop singer or film star. The man in the gray suit next to the woman is a TV reporter, I think. He's holding a microphone and interviewing her. He looks very excited. They are walking away from the theater. Perhaps she is the star of a show, but I'm not sure. Sorry. Oh, wow. Lesson 1F. They look like paparazzi, and they're taking photos of the woman. In the top right-hand corner of the photo, I can see a TV camera too. Okay. On the left, the we woman. can see just the hands of some people. One of them is holding a notebook, and the woman with long blonde hair is writing something in the notebook this with one. a blue pen. Okay. It looks as though she's signing her autograph. So I guess the people on the left are fans of the woman. Okay, did you listen to this? Uh, he said, it, it looks as though, okay, she looks as though she is signing an autograph. So we're going to see like some phrases. We um, will listen in the conversation in this speech that the man is saying. Look at the other so let's go ahead with this, learn this box. So there are some phrases in English. Let me share it to you because I think there is not the way I want it to be. So look at them. So there are some phrases to talk about appearance, descriptions, uh, comparisons. Let me just show you these phrases. And they are all oral expressions. For example, they are look like. As, as if, okay, all right, as though, what else? Am I forgetting something? <laughs> Let me see here. All right, so in a second. Okay, so let me just tell you. What's happening here? Okay, let me just tell you, wait. So these phrases we are having here, they are usually used to compare or maybe to refer, uh, to, refer to appearance or any type of resemblance in English. So we have look like, I imagine you may know that, for example, okay. We looks like his mother. That may be one of the ways to use it. Or maybe we looks like a famous singer from Vietnam. So you are referring to your appearance. Or maybe okay. we, uh, we, if we use comparisons or refers to people description. Another example, maybe like, uh, for example, the use of as if, as if. All right, yeah. All specify, right. specifying any type of comparisons. For example, look at this. Uh, one good, uh, good example might be like, we is acting as he is. We, let me just write it for you. We is acting as he is, as if he as, If he is an actor, or maybe he's speaking, let's. I'm gonna change it. 
I'm not gonna say acting, let's say speaking. Look at there. We is speaking as he as if he is an actor. See this. We is speaking as he as if he is an actor. As if. As if. Maybe we we is trying to speak like hey. Hey, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember this movie? All right. Uh, like, okay, I'm we, and I'm here taking English classes. And then I'm going to be like, oh, we is speaking as if he is an actor. Okay. <laughs> you see, I think that's just a, you know, a comparison, you know? That is the way how we use if. I'm not saying that you're going to use I'm not saying that you are going to use if to speak like that all the time, but that's just an example. Yeah. Okay. So another thing, as though. As though is used in English similar as as if. For example, okay. let me just show you here. As though, all right? Okay. She is my sister and she is acting as though she is my mother. <laughs> That's right. As though she is my mother. All right. She is my sister and, and she's acting as though she is my mother. Or imagine, she is my little sister. For example, she is my little sister and she's acting as she is my mother. <laughs> there is a problem here. <laughs> a visible problem. So let's go back all right, to the lesson. So do right. you understand this very well, We? Yeah. Fantastic. It makes me feel very happy. So let's see here. Then I want you to help me with, now that you understand these expressions, all right, we normally use them with the noun, nouns or person, or maybe with an adjective right. in the case of look. Uh, I want you to help me to complete this exercise. All right. So we're going to, well, we already read the learn this box, and we are going to complete the sentences with the correct form of expressions with the look. Okay. Number one, it's, it looks like it says theater. Okay, that is right. Let's check here. It looks like it looks uh, okay. It looks as if or as though. You can use any okay. of them. All right. All there right. is no problem over here. You can say you can use any of them. It's up to you. All right. Okay. Next one. The woman in the sunglasses looks like a pop singer or film star or, or looks a pop singer or a film star all right so okay. number three he he looks very excited he looks very excited so number four they they looks like paparazzi they looks like a paparazzi maybe they are wearing you know like paparazzi clothes but uh, they are not or okay. maybe a, a good example of this you see somebody dressing Somebody dressing like a, a football player, a footballer, but in fact he's not even uh he's not even uh let me see, he's not even a student. <laughs> he's, he's just wearing he just he's just wearing this type of clothing. Okay, so number five. It it looks that like if she's signing her autograph. Okay, it looks like I it okay. It looks, it looks like, all right, or it looks yeah, as if, yeah, or yeah. looks as though she's signing, uh, she's signing, I'm sorry, she's signing her autograph. That's right, well done. So let me just tell you this. Uh, in my opinion, that th that is very important. So here we are having an, an exam strategy. And in my personal opinion, this can apply for many things, not necessarily for an exam, all right? Not only for an exam. Let me just show you this and the importance of this in our conversation, specifically in our conversation. 
Okay, so we are going to complete the phrases with the verbs below. Can you read this part for me, We Okay, exam strategy. After uh, you have described the picture, the examiner will ask you some questions. When you answer these questions from the examiner, do not give single sentence answers. In order to create time to think, you can use the phrases. Okay, look at here. So here we have we are having some phrases. Uh, for example, um, these phrases are, let me see, let me, and this type of phrases, what you can do with them, it's kind of like having the necessary time to organize your ideas. Maybe you, I ask you, wait, who do you think was the owner of, uh, who do you think was the founder of Tesla? Maybe you do not know the answer, or maybe you have an idea. And you say, mm, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> okay, well, I think the owner or, or the founder of Tesla is Elon, Elon Musk. Do you know him? No, but I, but, but I think he's I one of the before. richest. He, he's one of the richest men of the world. Actually, uh, he's competing with the owner of Amazon. All right. Uh, okay. And also, in the, in the past days, I heard that he was traveling to the space. Oh. in a rocket all right wow. so maybe you don't know Elon Musk but I suggest it, I would encourage you to look for information about him he's a very rich man he's from, originally from South Africa okay he's one of the richest in the world okay, okay. and actually I think he is currently I don't know whether he is the owner or the one who invented or he has a lot of investment but he has something to do with a crypto currency. Okay, so right. we have this one. Can you give me an example with this? Let me see. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, uh, okay, let me see. For let example, me see. let me see. Oh, I, I think I know this person. Let me see. Oh, okay. I think I already know the answer. That might be a good example. Let, okay. Next one. We can we, we're gonna use some of these words over here to complete. Okay. Uh, let next me think one. about that. Let me think about that for a moment. Let me think about that for a moment. Let me see the other. Okay. Next one. Well, well mm, I, I suppose. I suppose uh, that we did taking classes, English classes at this time. <laughs> for example all right just an example next one okay uh, i never really talked about that i okay i never really talked about that all right next one it's difficult it's difficult to say really oh it's difficult to say really <laughs> all right so let's continue so let's see here we're going to listen to the next part of the exam and you're going to tell me how many questions does the examiner ask? Which phases from the exam strategy does the student use? Listen to this. Okay. Let me see here. Let me just go back. Lesson 1F, exercise 7. Thank you. I will now ask you three questions. Okay. How do you think the woman is feeling and why? Let me see. Uh, I think she is feeling happy. She certainly looks happy. <laughs> She's smiling and laughing. She's probably a famous actress and she's used to paparazzi. It looks as though she is enjoying all the attention. Do you think it's okay for paparazzi to behave like this? Hmm, it's difficult to say, really. Some celebrities like having their photos in the papers, but others don't. If a celebrity doesn't want their photo in the papers, I suppose the photographers shouldn't take photos. Tell me about the last time you were photographed. Oh, <laughs> um, let me think about that for a moment. Uh, oh, yes. It was my birthday last month, and I had a party. I invited lots of friends, and we went ice skating. A friend took lots of photos of me while I was skating. 
the photos were quite funny because I kept falling over. <laughs> All right. So let me see. So I want you to tell me the expressions you use. All right. The expressions they use from the exam strategy. I think you are mute. We. Oui? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the examiner asked the student three questions, and uh, he used three of the uh, three of the exam strategies. There. Sure. Are, let me see. Let me think about that for a moment, and it's difficult to say really. Okay. Fantastic. So ne then, let's wrap up with the class. We. Uh, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me. Let me see. I'm gonna give you a homework, real quick. So look at this. Uh, uh, actually, um, as you know, we are running a little bit out of time, but okay. uh, let's do this. For your homework for the next class, we're gonna see obviously another lesson. Then, um, so we're gonna do two things. First, uh, this is a strategy. Do you have the ability to a screenshot? In it? Are you in a computer or cell phone? Yeah, I can take a screenshot. screenshot. Okay, take a, a screenshot. And then uh, when you do that, so for the next class, I want you to create like a paragraph or something like this. And you're going to use like, um, you're, gonna be talk, uh, you're gonna be using in the context, all right? Of the okay. conversation, you're gonna talk about something. I'm gonna ask you questions. For example, you're gonna, I'm gonna ask you some questions in which you're gonna be forced to use these phrases. Let me just tell you, all right? Okay. For example, you're gonna be yourself. I'm gonna ask you questions in these questions. I am going to be asking you, let me share it to you through Zalo, just in case. Okay. For example, let's say you're going to talk about, let's say, for example, right? Not necessarily this. You can just tell me what are you going to talk about? You can, you have the freedom to speak about any topic, only one or two paragraphs. It doesn't have to be like something very extent. The intention of this is to practice these phrases, only this. And then after that, you're going to tell me, for example, you're going to talk about sports. Okay, sports in Vietnam are very popular. I think one of the best sports that we practice here or the most popular is badminton. And then I'm going to ask you, and we, why do you think badminton is so important in Vietnam? And then you're going to use the phrases in the conversation. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Let me show to you the, the, the um, here the homework. Yours is, son, this one? Yes. Let me share it to you right here. Oh, wow, time is running away. Okay, this one. Okay, there it is. This one is your homework. Okay, use these phrases in the context of a conversation. As simple okay. as that. So you're gonna use a conversation, you're gonna write something, anything you want. One paragraph, two paragraphs, and then I, I will be asking you questions. We're gonna have an interaction and then you use it. Okay. Understand this way? All right, I understand. Any doubts? Mm, no. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for being present in the class. I hope, uh, we, I hope we can put into practice all of those skills we are getting here. And I wish you a fantastic rest of the night. Yeah, and you have a good morning. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you. Bye. See you later. See you.